Saudi Arabia is a curious case. It fights many proxy wars in the region and beyond. Even countries like the U.S. have been directly affected by the terrorist exports from Saudi Arabia. But it encounters little criticism. In fact, the Americans continue to support, even defend the Saudis. Why, you may ask. The answer lies in a three-letter word, oil. And Saudi Arabia has bucket loads of it. Simply put, this is petro-Islam. Saudi Arabia continues to make a mockery of rights. It continues to fund rogue ideologies of radical Islam. And yet, it gets a free pass and a pat on the back for being the breeding ground of terrorism. How long will this go on? There is no clear answer to that because the world still runs on oil. On Beyond Edit, we discuss how this will not change until we find alternatives to oil. Oil importers like India and China are the growth engines of the world. Importers cannot continue to face supply disruption due to such crises. Countries like India have diversified their oil procurement, but that's at best a stopgap solution. If you look at the oil producers, with the exception of the US and Russia, most countries are facing turmoil. Venezuela, Nigeria, Iran, Iraq, Qatar, and now Saudi Arabia, all these countries face threats of terrorism. And this will only intensify. The world is fast running out of oil, and this will only lead to more disputes over this crucial commodity, black gold. Depending on crude, therefore, is an economic risk in the medium to long term. There are solutions, though. Several countries are moving towards generating power entirely through renewable energy sources. Countries like Denmark, Iceland, Sweden, Nicaragua and Germany are well on course to achieving independence from oil. That means that these countries need not worry about the political disruptions in countries like Saudi Arabia. Besides, this transition is cost effective. Over the last few years, India too has come a long way in its push for renewable energy. India has, is ranked number five in the world in terms of installed renewable energy capacity. India has the fourth rank in wind energy, the fifth position in solar power. Right now, the share of renewable energy in India is above 20%. The government should continue this transition more aggressively. This will help India escape the wrath of the OPEC cartel. The producers constantly seek a rise in crude prices because high prices mean high profits for them. But for oil importers like India, it means a huge rise in import bills. A detailed analysis of the situation shows that the conflict in oil producing countries is maintained only for oil price gains. Look at this. Iran has the tacit support of Russia. Saudi Arabia shares strong ties with both Russia and the US. And both Russia and the US, remember, are oil producers themselves. So they're insulated from the problems in West Asia. The trouble in this region only benefits them. They get to sell their defense equipment. Russia also controls OPEC in a way. So high oil prices help Russia. The sooner countries find alternatives to oil, the better it will be for our economic autonomy. Besides, it will help in ending the many conflicts in West Asia because when the demand for oil goes down, the importance for sustained conflicts decreases. The only way to end the radical petro-Islam is to achieve independence from oil. Think about it.